last time on the Florida Keys Adventure 2016, we decided to go straight from the tip of Florida to Marathon. That way would be Marathon. There's one island there. Land ho! As you'll remember, we made it into Poncho's fuel dock. We got it all tied up, secured for the night, and started planning for the next day. Friday morning, we're getting ready to get underway. Getting ready to go out. See what we can get into. Push me off a little bit. Center me up in the thing here. One of the cool things about Poncho's fuel dock is the location from it to the open water. It's like about a half a mile, if that. You're going to see as we turn and go around, we'll start heading out. Uh, as soon as you get out towards the open water, you got seven mile bridge to one to your right which is the tip or the end of Marathon and then Sombrero Reef is out to the left about four miles out so that's where we were headed get into a little bit of diving I don't know if you can see it. That's the big water right there. Seven mile bridge. It's the end of marathon. That's what all this work about was about. about Ten thousand dollars. Months of engine repair. Boat preparation. It's all about this. Can't change the smell of the fresh salt water, salt air. There's no pollutants in the air. There ain't nothing except Africa that way. Well, okay, the Bahamas. Then Africa. Just might go to the Bahamas. You never know. We just might just keep on going. We got enough gas. We can make it. So here we are heading out to Sombrero Reef. Uh, you can see the lighthouse there in the background. And you know it took a lot of work and time and money to get us here, but we finally made it. That was one of the first ones to jump in the water. I was excited about getting in there. You know the Florida Keys are in the archipelago, uh, which just means the island chain um, of the Florida Keys. It's basically just a bunch of big coral reef. The island itself is like a big piece of coral and when you get out there and get to digging around. But I gotta tell you from my experiences with diving several places around the world, the keys definitely top the list as far as how pretty they are. Now this area here um, around Sombrero Reef, uh, it's certainly pretty and you'll see different times it'll be just rocks, but then sometimes it'll be large coral and uh, real pretty. Um, I think here you're going to see a turtle up at the top of the uh, video. That was pretty cool. And we just kind of dove around, just checking stuff out. This is what I love about diving or snorkeling in this case. Just seeing all the different things that you see. And it's a great thing. So here I'm diving under the lighthouse and you can see all kind of stuff that's probably fallen off of the lighthouse over the years. And it's pretty neat. You know, diving is so majestic for me. When you're down under water and everything's quiet you see all the things that you see, you are reminded of God's creation.
when I go out snorkeling like this, I like to bring a little bit of fish food. It kind of brings the fish up close. And people enjoy it. Kids really enjoy it. We picked up Jim and Brian's girlfriends and brought them out. And then uh, we all decided to do a little snorkeling, get back in the water, have us a good time. After a few hours of snorkeling, everybody kind of got tired and we wanted to do a little bit of fishing um, before we went in for the day. It was getting on to the afternoon. And so we went out there to the little reef area and Brian got on a couple of fish. We caught a couple other little ones, but nothing right on the mama about. But uh, it was a good ending to a great day. And then we headed on back to the marina, try to get some dinner. On the way back, we went through Boot Key Harbor for a little short tour, and it was an end to a very good day. We'll see you on the next one.